it's good to see you all through this television program and i greet you all in the wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ and we welcome you to this gracious word program my dear brothers and sisters and my dear friends today our topic for this study will be the all sufficient christ yes the book of colossians tells that christ is all sufficient there are six claims this book makes about this topic about the all sufficiency of christ so in our short time let's see one by one all these six claims what it tells about the all sufficiency of christ the first thing is from the verse 16 and 17 of the first chapter of colossians for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created through him and for him and he is before all things and in him all things consist yes the first claim this book makes is about this all sufficiency of christ is that all things were created in christ let's put it in our minds strongly all things were created in christ this verse clearly tells us for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth visible or invisible so in christ everything was created the second claim this book of colossians makes is from the verses colossians chapter 1 verse 19 let me read for it pleased the father that in him all the fullness should dwell so the first claim was all things were created in christ the second claim from this book of colossians about christ's all sufficiency is that all the fullness of divinity all the fullness of godhead dwells in christ let's also read chapter 2 verse 9 for in him dwells all the fullness of the godhead bodily so it's clear that all the fullness of god all the fullness of divinity it dwelled bodily in christ so the second claim the book of colossians makes is all the fullness of divinity or godhead dwells in christ the third claim in the book of colossians about the all sufficiency of christ is every human being can be made complete in christ yes my dear beloved brothers and sisters and friends every human being can be made complete in christ if you are in christ if i am in christ and follow the paths of our lord jesus christ we can be made complete in christ let's read these verses from colossians chapter 1 verse 27 28 and 29 to them god will to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the gentiles which is christ in you the hope of glory him we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in christ jesus to this end i also labor striving according to his working which works in me mightily kindly look at this words warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus we can be made perfect in Christ Jesus so kindly be in Christ and follow his pathway to be made perfect every man all the man each and every one of us in the world can be made perfect in Christ this is the third claim that the book of colossians makes the fourth one is from the second chapter verse 3 it tells like this in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge the fourth claim is all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden in christ this is the fourth claim that the book of colossians makes regarding the all sufficiency of christ as christians Christ is all sufficient for us. We need not go anywhere to anyone to seek or to hear or to get anything valuable things 
apart from Christ. Christ is all sufficient for us, for every mankind, not only for Christians, for every mankind. Christ is all sufficient. The fourth claim in the book of Colossians tells that all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden in Christ. If you want to be a knowledgeable person, if you want to be a, a wise person, everything is hidden in Christ. Come into Christ. So, as a person in Christ, we can gain lot of knowledge and wisdom. This is the claim that Colossians makes. Let's also read chapter 1 verse 9 regarding this point. For this reason we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So, that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Every spiritual understanding can be received being in Christ and for this reason Christ is all sufficient. The fifth thing, fifth claim that the book of Colossians makes regarding the all sufficiency of Christ is all things are under the authority of Christ. All things are under the authority of Christ. Second chapter verse 10 tells like this and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power not only in this world but also in heaven he is the head of all principalities and power let's not forget this Christ is the head of all principalities and power let me give some sub points for this regarding the all sufficiency of Christ Christ has the all authorities Let's also pick some verses and see some other points for this fifth point. Colossians 1st chapter verse 18 says, Christ is the head of the church. This is his authority. So Christ is the head of the church. So that much authority he is having. No other person can be head of the church. No other principles can be head of the church. Only Christ is the head of the church. That is his supreme authority. The other thing in this 18th verse itself we can see that, he is having the highest place in all the things. And also in chapter 3 verse 1 we can see he is seated at the right hand of God. This is the authority, supreme authority Christ is having over all principalities and power. The last and the final thing, the sixth claim, what this book Colossians makes regarding the all sufficiency of Christ is all our sins are forgiven through Christ. So this is the final claim that this book makes regarding the all sufficiency of Christ. Second chapter verse 13 let me read out for you. And you being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh he has made alive together with him having forgiven you all trespasses. Having forgiven all your trespasses. So Christ is all sufficient in regards to he is able to forgive all our sins. So we have the forgiveness of sins. The hope of heaven through Christ and in Christ. When we are baptized in Christ as per the word of God. As per the direction given by the word of God. We have the forgiveness of sins. And we are able to have the hope alive for entering the heaven. Also chapter 1 verse 14 says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Yes, my beloved brothers and sisters and friends. In Christ we have the redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. We invite you today to obey the call of the Lord for receiving the forgiveness of sins. It's very simple. You can just obey the word of God to receive the forgiveness of sins. As you are taking baptism, as per the direction of the word of God, you can receive the forgiveness of sins. And Christ is able to give you the hope to, to enter the heavenly place, to be with our heavenly father. At the last, I, I'd like to conclude this message that Christ is all. Let's read chapter 3 verse 11 from Colossians. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. But Christ is all and in all. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters and friends, let's again uh, see all these six things, six claims what Colossians makes 
regarding the all sufficiency of Christ. The first thing, all things were created in Christ. The second thing, all the fullness of divinity or Godhead dwells in Christ. The third thing, every human being can be made perfect or complete in Christ. The fourth thing, all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge is available or hidden in Christ. The fifth thing, all things are under the authority of Christ. Yes, all things are under the authority of Christ. And the sixth thing what we have, we have seen today is all our sins are forgiven through Christ and in Christ. All our sins are forgiven through Christ and in Christ. If we are forgiven of our sins through baptism, as the Bible says, we can be added into the family of God, the church, for which Christ is head. So, kindly do not neglect or take it easy. Consider this claim an invitation and obey the word of God to be added in the family of God, that is the church, where Christ is the head. And at last we have seen Christ is all and in all he is everything. Colossians also stresses that Christ is the mediator between God and human being. Christ is the mediator between God and human beings. And also it tells that Christ is the head of the church. Thank you for your patience listening. So today we have seen Christ is all sufficient. So, let's consider obeying his word and following his pathway. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful time to hear your voice from the book of Colossians. We have learned today that Christ is all sufficient. So, let us follow his words to please you and to be added into your family. Bless all the people who are listening to this program. Bless their family, each and every one of them. In Christ Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. It is God's will that you must be saved. First, listen to the Bible truth. And you must believe the truth. Then you must repent from your sinful life. Then you must confess by words that the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God. You must be baptized for the remission of your sins. Every day our Lord added those who were being saved into his church. Be blessed by studying the word of God. To receive the Voice of Truth International Magazine and to study the Bible systematically through our English Bible Correspondent Course, kindly write to us. Our address, Gracious Word, PO Box 15, Arsredi Madurai 625016, Tamil Nadu. For more details, dial 9244204420. 9244214421 God bless you The Church of Christ salutes you Joy Creative Production For video coverage and editing audio recording and editing promo for advertisement graphic design contact 9042494996